Ajwa Safa's prolonged absence from parliament in 2022 sparked nationwide debate as she left the country following the 2022 budget passage on November 26, 2021. She was referred to the Privileges Committee by Speaker Alban Gwagwin due to her 15-day absence. The majority argued for a seat to be declared vacant, paving the way for a by-election, while the minority strongly disagreed. The Privileges Committee recommended that her seat be declared vacant due to her inability to provide an explanation for her absence, but the Speaker stated that the committee's report must be presented to the entire House. The ruling was criticized by Osei Chairman Sabunsu, who deemed it unfortunate and inconsistent. She returned from the U.S. and resumed her duties as Member of Parliament on November 11, 2022. But her appointment as Gender, Children and Social Protection Minister was revoked by President Kufuado on July 29, 2023. Following her return, she began preparations for re-election in the upcoming NPP parliamentary primaries. I still have a lot to do for my people and I, I have to take the pain to explain to them the reasons for my absence. When the time comes, I shall not, de I, I shall not desert my people. I shall represent them again by God's grace. And I think that my people still love me. The former gender ministers apologized to the party for causing controversies during her extended absence from parliamentary duties, stating that her actions were unjustified and expressed regret in a Facebook video. <laughs> My party for the new patriotic party and the party in Penguin for. I want to use this opportunity and apologize to my party, the new patriotic party, NPP, and my party leaders. I want to apologize for the behavior I exhibited some time in the past. What I did was not intentional and it was not planned for me to disrespect you. She explained that the emotions she expressed were fueled by the intricate personal challenges she was grappling with in her personal life. There was so much going on in my life and in my family. I take this opportunity to plead with you all. The MP's apology has been met with varied reactions on social media and her constituents. For me, there's no any forgiveness because it's, it's getting closer to the election year, so I think it's one of those things of politicians. You cannot just leave your work and go somewhere and come back to say sorry. As I see a timid example, Mobia or what, and Pastor Asubia, ABB, are careful. Me, I don't accept this apologize. Noble Crossbiana, TV3 News, Accra.